BCH make DC electromagnetic brakes have been designed for heavy industrial and mill duty application. DCEM brakes are used where smooth, rapid and frequently stopping is required. BCH DC brake are designed for fail safe operation. Means in case of sudden power failure, it will hold the load. DC brake are widely used for conveyor and crane application in steel, mining and power industries. All brakes are released electrically and closed by heavy duty torque spring. Highly reliable coil are used in brakes when it is energized. Armature are attracted together to compress the torque spring to release the brake. When coil is de-energized, compression spring forces the armature and presses the shoes to close the wheel. Brakes are operated by resistance rectifier panel with 415 volt AC supply or 230 volt DC supply. Let's know some other critical spare parts of DCEM brake. Torx crew assembly, pull rod assembly, brake shoe and liner, wedge assembly, bush and pin set for lever and armature, and dust cover to protect the brake from dust. This video will help the user for installation of new BCH brake. Assemble the brake wheel on motor shaft if it is not already assembled. To prepare for installation, we should review critical dimensions for proper functioning of brake. Check center height of wheel from surface and it should match with dimension C of brake. This will ensure horizontal alignment of wheel shaft, center axis with brake and same time ensure vertical axis alignment of brake and wheel. Ensure wheel size match the required wheel size for selected brake. Open the brake from wooden packing and use crane to lift the brake. Do not use the pull rod to lift the brake because it may cause damage. Always lift brake by putting chain across the shouldering pin. Keep brake manual with you for reference. There can be two conditions in real time when you have to install the brake. From front side of wheel when you have space. From left or right side of wheel when there is no space to insert the brake from front side of wheel. In this case, you have to open the pull rod by opening outer lock nut and open the shoe lever. Now further installation will be same for both conditions. Bring brake close to wheel and gently align the brake from front. Remove the hooks from brake by removing split pins. Set the wheel and brake perfectly aligned so all lining surface evenly cross wheel. Put the mounting bolts to be tightened fully after alignment of lining with drum. Connect the brake to regulated power supply from rectifier panel. Cable should be crimped with proper lux. Switch on to release the brake. You can switch off to close the brake to check brake alignment with wheel. Tighten outer lock nut until sounding pin flush with armature surface and ensure lining is fully touching the wheel. Check operation of brake by giving supply to releasing closing the brake. Remove brake light packing with adjusting screw. Brake is installed now and BCH brake is ready to use. Next section of this video will show replacements of brake liners and coil whenever the need arises. Replacement of liners You can check the need of liner replacement. Check sounding pin if they are going inside of armature surface to replace lining. Loosen the lock nut outer of pull rod by 2 to 3 mm. Remove the cap screw and remove shoe clamp from shoe. Remove old lining. Take new lining and drill it by clamping it on shoe with C clamp. Drill counter board from front of lining. Refer manual for size of bolts, depths of counter bolt. Put bolts on lining and shoe. Reassemble the shoe. Coil changing. You need to remove the brake out from motor shaft because full opening of shoe brakes are required. 
open pull rod by loosening of lock nut outer. Remove four bolts of coil from bottom. Remove connection and take out coils from brake. Put new coil and reassemble. Install the brake as per instruction. 